This is the plaintiff, Rose Sanowski. She says she rented a room in what she thought was the defendant's house, but as it turned out, he was just a tenant. Things didn't work out with the arrangement because it was very uncomfortable listening to the defendant's nephew have intercourse through the paper-thin walls. She ended up moving out. The defendant owes her $2,150 for security and overpaid electric. So she's suing. This is the defendant, Steve Chandler. He says the woman shows up at his door one day, claiming she's not going to be paying rent anymore because she heard his nephew having sex through the walls. The woman has some nerve suing him here today, considering she didn't pay him rent for six months, and if anyone's owed, it's him. He's accused of having no right to rent. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $5,000 for back rent and lawyer's fees. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff moved into the defendant's house but couldn't handle hearing the defendant's nephew stooping his girlfriend next door. But the defendant says the plaintiff is just a deadbeat. It's the case of going out with a bang. Now. Thank you, Douglas. Welcome, Rose Sinowski. Yes. You are suing Steve Chandler, your former landlord, for $2,150 that you say he owes you and refuses to repay. You have a counterclaim against her for $5,000 for back rent, electric bills, and lawyer's fees. You're also suing him for lawyer's fees. Yes. All right, what happened here? Okay, this started out with an overcharge of electric. I live in one small room downstairs. He lives in three rooms in the upstairs apartment. He has two giant fish tanks. He has a giant refrigerator stove. I have no kitchen. I have a half small refrigerator. I was paying him $100 when I first moved in, $100 a month and $100 deposit. Are you talking about just for the utilities? Je yeah. How much was rent? Raw 550. And what, what, did you have a lease? Uh, yes, I did. And did the lease say you were paying $100 in utilities? Uh, the, the, first, the first lease didn't indicate it. The second one that you get when I moved in, that's when it said $100 monthly. Okay. How much was she getting billed? She paid half of what the electricity was. And I have uh, the original lease agreement right here that she signed with it stating that it'd be half. Okay. Let me have both leases, please. Talk to me about the lawsuit. What happens that makes you decide you're going to move out? This is what, what happened. He had, uh, he had uh, stated I could come, out, come up to his apartment anytime I wanted to, that the last tenant used to come up with no clothes on. Okay, Miss, oh, he made a pass at you? I don't know how to take that. I thought it was a little creepy. It's totally creepy if it happened. But just talk to me and tell me why you decided to leave. Okay, one was because there was sex going on in the one room that he had offered me to come up and live in. For about a week, he had his nephew over there. That was very loud. I could hear everything they were doing downstairs. Okay, so it's not that the sex was going on, but that you could hear it and it was noisy and disruptive. It. And that was okay. the bed I was supposed to move up into, so I decided I was going to stay downstairs. Then I went up to him and I told him that I didn't fit, think he should be charging me electricity. He said, well, then I don't think things are going to work out. I said, look, why don't you just take me to court? Why does he have to take you to court? Why don't you just move out? Because, well, because I needed time. That's one. Two, he, you stopped you know, paying rent, didn't you? Yeah, but I How kept many it, months did you live there without I held paying it, rent? Excuse me. This is not a legal apartment we're talking about here, Your Honor. This is an illegal house, and he's a tenant. How many months did you live in the legal apartment that you we went apparently to later found out was illegal without paying rent? Let's see. We went to court, uh, I would say, and the How winter. long did she live there without paying rent? She About six. quit paying. Uh, How long did she live she, there without she, paying rent? She, the she, next, she the next thing out of anybody's mouth needs to be a number months. of months. Six she months. She didn't pay October, because I'm not November, allowed December, to January, pay, but, February, or March. Yeah, but it's an illegal okay. apartment. Is this an illegal okay. apartment? I don't know, Your Honor. It oh, really? After all this, you have this house that I happen to sub that I rent from my landlord. So I don't know if it's illegal or not. Well, do you have the right to sublet it? Yeah, my, my landlord lets me. May I see the, your lease? I do not have that. I'm sorry. Okay, Your Honor. so now you said something about landlord tenant court. Did you guys are, were you guys already in court? No, no, I never went to court. I, I went to the attorney. Did you, I'm sorry, did you hire an again. attorney and send an attorney to go to court for you? No. Well, they did. Yes, they did. What? <laughs> Okay. Does anybody but have? They, uh, just stop. Yeah, I have the document here. Yeah, but, but I never saw anything. anything. Well, that's between you and your lawyer. If you don't, yeah, I, I, stop I talking. Just hand papers. All right. You are suing him for your security deposit back, which you acknowledge you have the security deposit, right? Yes. All right. And then you are suing him for $600 that you feel you were overcharged for electric. But that overcharging is just, you've just decided that you don't want to pay what you had agreed to pay. 
And then $600 to pay your brother back. What are you talking about? I borrowed $600 from my brother. He thought he was helping me out. And I didn't want, I don't fear, it, it's fair, it's fair for me to have to pay him for something that he's not even permitted by I New York I don't understand State. what you're saying. Did you pay that money to N him? Yes. Yes. And okay, I have but you pay a lot more than $600. Why don't you just go for broke and sue for every penny you ever paid in rent? Because I didn't know I could do that. Well, you can't, but I just want to know why you didn't. Okay, then $400 in a lawyer fee. All right. Because of his lawsuit, Your Honor, he, there was no reason for a suit. This could have been worked out if we just... What, okay, you're talking about him taking you to housing court when you didn't pay rent for six months? He, no, he took me to housing court when it was a two-month... Uh, two okay, month, and there's and no I reason to take him, you to housing court when you don't pay rent for two not months? Not if your apartment's illegal, Your Honor. I don't think okay, that's a very Okay, clearly he doesn't thing. think that the apartment's illegal. He, he wouldn't need housing court. I told court. him I I, what I found out. I told him it was illegal. Here it goes. Where is your Here's proof the that the apartment's illegal? Okay, so this dude wants to get out of the lease because the defendant's girlfriend, de de the nephew and the girlfriend are having sex all the time, real loud, can he get out of the deal? I think you should be able to. If you can't sleep in peace in your own home. Okay, so that's a vote for letting him out of the lease? Yeah, I'd let him out of the lease. Just unreasonable behavior. Unreasonable behavior, what do you think? I think he should just get his own girlfriend that's also loud and noisy and just-, just have a loud contest. Yes, loud contest. Got your point, got your point, going inside the courtroom. The building department said okay. he cannot rent this out. Okay. Have you heard anything from the building department? No, Not never. yet. They well, that was for that court case to show to show the uh, uh, the judge that uh, the apartment was not permitted by law to be rented out. He's not permitted by law to be collecting rent, and he's not permitted by law to be collecting electricity. That's not in my name. It's in his name. He's a tenant, not the owner. Did you have lawyers representing you? I had one lawyer. Uh, sorry, ma'am, I'm not talking oh, to you. Did I'm you have sorry. lawyers? Where I was looking down. At I had one attorney that I went to. And after did your I lawyer tell you that he settled the case with her? They said that he that she had agreed to move out on uh, March 31st. And Did that's she all move I out? Knew. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she moved okay. out March 31st. So then why, if you already settled this case, that appears to be what you've handed me, a stipulation where both sides agree to walk away. And then security deposit is to be returned according to the law. Okay. He did not return your security deposit. No. But you're didn't. not just suing for your security deposit. You're suing for all this other stuff, which you already settled. Now, what, why are you bringing up in a counterclaim for $5,000, something that you already settled? Uh, it was because she started it, and I had all these back rent. I had the back rent that she hadn't paid. And so she I brought She started that. it, Mom. <laughs> all right. Um, do you understand that you gave up your right to fight for back rent when you settled the case? No, I did not understand What that. do you think settling the case means? It means she is saying, you owe me money. You owe me for overcharging me electric. You owe me for money I paid you in rent and blah, blah, blah. And somehow your lawyer thought it would be a good idea for you to forgo. The, for, so there's got to be a reason that well, he thinks they, that. They wanted me to settle it. He didn't want to have much of a Right, more probably it, because so. you're not supposed to be renting it out. But... I just know that all the things you're suing for, you already settled. So now there's only one issue left that hasn't been settled, and that is the issue of the security deposit. So the reason you're keeping the security deposit is because you never got all the rent? I never got all the rent, yes. And the fact that the, the carpet was totally demolished and wet when she left, it was okay. soaking wet. I need you to show me proof of any damages that you say entitle you to keep the security deposit. And these are uh, a couple of befores and after. And I also How have a video. How old was this carpet? It was, it was old, and like I said, the, the, the before, it just was a lot worse after she left. Your answer to me for why you're keeping $550 is because you gave her a rug that looked like that, which has a bunch of stains, and she gave it back to you looking like this, which has, I think, one more stain. And your counterclaim doesn't say one word about damages. Your put your paper down. Your counterclaim really talks about, I want my rent and my legal fees and my other, all the stuff that was already taken care of. You have to return the security deposit, $550, verdict for the plaintiff. As for everything else, it's been settled. Get some reaction from the defendant. Here he is. Come on out here. Uh, she didn't collect everything she sued for, and you got nothing on you your counterclaim. Nothing, what's, no. your, what's your feeling on the outcome here? Well, you know, it is what it is, and I would have rather have won, but the judge was right in what she said when mm -hmm. it came to keeping to the facts. What about what she said about you coming up there and um, <clears throat> making those kind of strange... Uh, no, I think, I think she was that? in Never Neverland. No, absolutely you never not. Never said anything no. like that to her? No. Just made that up? 
you know, I'm a single guy and I'm living upstairs. You take it from there. Sure. All right, so. All right, step on in here a little bit closer. What, what's, uh, what's your feeling coming out? Uh, $550, that's, that's okay, it. It's, okay, it's, it's fine. It's something. It's, it's fine, mm -hmm. yeah. He needs a, a, to learn a little, be a little bit more respectful towards women. Maybe just ask somebody out or rather than frighten them half to death because of uh, some behavior that's mm -hmm. a little awkward. Ask you out, for instance? Uh, I wouldn't go out with him. Harvey? Okay, there are lots of claims thrown back and forth. Bottom line here, if the person next door is having loud sex, tough. That is just part of the deal. It's lawful. You have to live with it. 